9.45 uh, Matt and Ross are in watching our movie a wee Ferdinand animation in their tents it's pretty dark now but as I said I've got I've got a this good lens and it, it extracts as much light as you can you know it is pretty pretty dark anyway forgetting about the lens uh, I just wanted to uh, say to people what the regular viewers of my my vids I felt I'm a wee bit behind in replies to comments not much but I'm finding that a wee bit harder to reply and also uh, watching people's vids to just a practique of I've no I've no got the time now. I think I mentioned it I did mention it in passing about twenty hour shifts and that's basically what I'm doing. We say half the week, just over half the week. So that's basically half the week. I can't really do much or any YouTube. I can still watch uh, some stuff, but uh, I've, I've not got the time. I'm just really basically, I've not got the time to watch videos or, or even to reply to comments. I will catch up. As I say, I'm not that far behind in comments. Maybe one video or something. Uh, and also to like to say to uh, Peter my nose and Corbett's and some other person asked me to if I could reload the Rob Roy Way which I was going to do I was going to do the Rob Roy Way re-edit it and upload it and for Peter I was going to do Sleark but that was, that was high on my list anyway because I think that's one of my better uh, trips Sleark but again I, I've just not got time it's just as simple as that. I've, I've not got the time to sit down and edit. You know, because the, let's say the four days I'm working, I've, I've not got any time. And three days I'm not working, then, you know, I want to get out if possible for a day or two. Scott's Wild Camper. The wild camping channel for the great outdoors. Right folks, Monday. Uh, 7th of May I think I'm at, Bro I'm at Brodick in Arran there's a ferry terminal this has all changed since the last time big changes on the, this side of the water the Brodick terminal ferry terminal, all that stuff that building was near there and the gangway you used to get off there I'm sure that's where you used to uh, exit the ferry. Now it's down there. It's all changed. This is Wild Camp 103, I think. I'm losing count. I think it's 103. There's Ross and Matt. Say hello. <laughs> right, so we're heading to Glen Rossa.
two trips in a row and it's been nice weather. What's happening? What's happening? Global warming. Well, me and Matt and, and Ross, was it two or three weeks ago? We were supposed to come here, but the weather was that bad. We ended up staying in the caravan. It was raining literally for three days. So we got here. There you go, new homes, luxury three and four bedrooms. There's your backdrop. Not bad. Roddick Castle, one and three quarter miles. Never been in it. I think you pay, I'm not sure. I think you pay, I know you pay to see the gardens. I think it's like 15 pounds to see the garden. So it must be the castle tour as well. No pavement up here. For the last uh, five minutes, just walk on the road and jump into the jump on the grass when you hear the car coming behind you. So we're nearly at the start of the the walk into the glen really. In fact I can see it. 50 seconds to go. Ro uh, Ross is wanting a wee rest so we'll go up here and we'll take 10 minutes take some water and then we'll hike into Glen Rossa. Should only be another 30 minutes I think. 30 minute hike in for here. About 30 minutes with the hike, it's only an hour for the boat. But it says it in the sign. Glen Rossa one one mile. I think obviously if you've got a house like that. Who lives in a house like that? If you've got a house like that then you've got a wee bit of cash, I think it's fair to say. And then talking about money, why talk about money? Look, all this, all this is free of charge, all this nature. It's all free, you just have to get up off your bum and get it done. I think I'll use that as a slogan. Get up off your bum and get it done. I'm claiming that. I'm copywriting that. Right. I think we're coming to what I would call a little hamlet. A little hamlet. Now is thy winter of thy discontent. Made glorious summer by thy son of York. Here's a wee quote. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's on YouTube. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that, but people commended me on my Shakespeare. There's the GGs. Ah, lovely. Lovely place to live here. I think if you I think to retire here to be honest more probably uh, more appropriate to retire here would be very very pleasant beautiful place right yeah is that a holiday home or uh can hire that out I know there's a cottage up here. Well, there used to be the last time. The last time I was here, I think it was with Mark, probably Prepper. We camp in there. <laughs> I might say we'll camp in there. There we get tables and chairs ready. Lovely jubbly folks. Lovely jubbly. There you go folks, for sale.
I'm doing my real estate man. What do you call him? A estate agent. Doing my estate agent today. I think that's the cottage that's for hire. I'm sure that's the cottage that you can hire out. Or you used to be able to hire it out. Ah, I guess that Grand's Cottage. Luxury self catering. There you go. Memory's not that bad. Grand's Cottage. Hello, you're on camera. <laughs> and there's the campsite, Glen Rossa campsite. It's not much of a campsite to be honest. It's got a hut with a toilet, but that's all you need in it. You're not looking for anything fancy. There's the campsite. Oh, that's the busiest I've seen it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one tent up there. Nine tents. First time I was here, which is also the last time I was here, it was there was one tent. I'm sure there was one tent. And there's another tent over there. I wonder if that's part of the campsite. I think it probably that would come under the campsite. Are we going further up? You want to? Save that money, being Scottish, we don't want to spend any money. I suggested to Matt we, that bit, that landing strip, but Matt thinks it might be the campsite. I don't know, I'm not sure, it could be. I think he's a good bit away for the... I mean, you're like... a hundred yards for the, the other bit. But anyway, we're not going to... No, you risk it. It's a fiver. I still ask you in a bike how much it is. It's a fiver per person. I thought it was reasonable. Matt said it's usually a tent. I suppose it is. Thinking about it, it's usually per tent, isn't it? Ah, oh, look at that. This is much, much clearer day than when I was here before. Much nicer day. Much warmer. Much clearer. I need to hike through this Glen. I need to get back to getting some good proper hiking done, really. Thinking about it my last six, seven months. I think the last proper hike I did was Glen Nevis with Sinclair and and uh, Pete. Mad Dog Bushcraft. That was the last decent hike, what's called backpacking trip I did. That's my favourite type of trip. Getting the miles done. Aye, uh, Matt's saying that's a road down, which he's probably right. It did look too, too well manicured, just to be wild. Matt, I'm sure it was across there that Stuart, I'm sure, because it was right next to the water. I think it's that bit. That's where they camped. How do we get to that, that's what I'm saying, that's what I was saying, how do we get there? Just need to cross the river. So that's what I was saying, uh, I'm sure Stuart, Stuart and uh, Danny, and who else was there, was it Willie Shields, was camping over there, I'm sure that was the bit. So, how do you get there, over the river, I'm sure we can, <laughs> you know, I'm sure we can manage it. There's a bit there, we'll get there folks, we'll get there, it's just we've got the boy right enough, that's the only Thing, you know, don't have him getting soaked and wet. Ah, plenty of ground over there. Don't know what it's like, but to be honest, again, same situation, doesn't matter what it's like. We just need to camp there. <laughs> That's it. That's a nice wee spot. When I was here with Mark before, I just walked further out, we walked about another quarter mile, half a mile out, camped on top of a hump, it got a bit windy, but it was all good, good stuff. Right, indeed, how do we get over there? Right, 
Okay. See if we can find a way. We were thinking of camping in there. I seen an old timer and I asked him if it's okay if we camped in here because he looked, he was definitely a local. Looked like an old farmer or that type of character. He told us that, that thing there, that's for the mountain rescue. That's where the helicopter, that square, that's where the helicopter lands. Have they got to rescue anybody? They come down here, that's the helicopter pad, a landing bit. So we're walking right in, we're walking past the fence, right into the glen. The Ross has got his second wind, I think. Don't know if you can hear that. Someone, someone's got a Swiss clock out with them. Cuckoo, cuckoo. I think I'm going cuckoo, cuckoo. Ground's no great here, but again, just need to make do, folks. If you want perfect ground. You're out of luck. Over there looks not too bad, but again, how do we cross? Just got to tear shoes off if we want to cross. <laughs> yeah. Aye, right, mate. I always think so. We need your air butt. Okay, mate. Over there looks better, doesn't it? Aye. That looks no bad there. That wee strip there. Ah, uh, should take our shoes off. I would suggest take our shoes and socks off and just wade through and dry our feet. Yeah, that actually does look pretty deep there, that bit. It's always deeper than you think, but that, that looks... Uh, that could be about five feet deep, four feet deep, that bit. So we'll avoid that bit. Yeah, along there. Where the stones are, it doesn't look too bad. Aye, that's what I was saying, Ross. Just dry, you'll soon dry off in this weather. Yeah. firmer than the tap so that you're up half the ground but it's still a bit soft, you know what I mean? See because it's got the two sides. Watch. It's not yeah. I'm going to a bit. Look, you've got the hop in the tent. I've got a one wee bit. No. What do you mean, move it? Move it here to that side. No, this end, that end. <laughs> no, don't do the way. Turn it off it. Yeah, towards the edge. Oh, do you look at me? I'm just stuck away in the corner. No space. You've got all the space. There you go. Poor Ross. <laughs> so it was three quarters of the ten. <laughs> <laughs> it was half a minute ago, folks. Now it's three quarters. <laughs> That's half, no? Next one. <laughs> Fire pit over here at the corner. 
not too bad. I hate seeing a lot of fire scars, I have to be honest. But that's the only fire, that looks like the only fire pit fire scar here, which I think is okay, you know, I think you've got to be realistic. I'm a sort of middle ground views in fire. You know, I hate seeing a lot of fire scars in one area, it's just stupid, it doesn't make any sense. But if a lot of people are going to a certain area, then you have to be realistic. And plus it's allowed in Scotland. You know, you're allowed to have fires as long as you clean up after you. But, I mean, I've never made a fire, to be honest, myself. But obviously it with other people. Other people, a lot of other people like fires. I would probably do without a fire myself. Nice spot, lovely spot, obviously with the fire pit. Other people are here, but they don't, they, I don't see any mess. See, no mess. And the fire pit is, it's no really, you know, it's no, uh, taking away from the area where this, this wee spot sort of, actually sort of, it's at the corner, tucked away and it's, it's not an eyesore, is what I'm saying, trying to say. A lot of walkers just coming back. It's half five, uh, Matt's making noodles for him and his lad. Noodles and a cup of tea, and a cup of coffee. We had a breakfast, uh, we had uh, in soil coats. Matt had three breakfasts. Matt never had that. I like had it. one. No, <laughs> I had two. <laughs> Matt had nothing like it. Matt had one breakfast and I had, I had two. I got double helpings. And Ross had two bacon rolls, bacon and potatoes gone rolls, and I had ice cream as well. Cheers. As I said, I had two, I had two sort of, well, small breakfasts, but I did have two. And an ice cream, big ice cream. So I'm just having chicken tandoori. And strawberry flavoured water, Volvic. That'll do me. If I'm hungry the night, I'll have my pasta meal. Mm. Yeah, so a wee bit, uh, slightly, I wouldn't say warm, but you know, it's been uh, heated up with the, in the rucksack with the sun. You come and sit here, Matt, or just, what? Walking. <laughs> Ah, it's too hot in the tent. It's boiling in the tents, as you can imagine. Look at the ground sheet. No, no, no. Sitting here. Sitting here. No, here. Right. Oh, nice, because you can have it to wet a bit. Oh. Oh. So there you go, mark that down. Wildcat 103, sunny, good weather. That's a red letter camp, a red letter wild camp. It's sunny, it's pleasant weather. That's the summer finished. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> well, usually, I mean, seriously, if you think about it, if you think the last three or four years, May has been reasonable or quite good, and then June, July has been a washout, basically. My good noodles. Mm -hmm. 
I'll swap you a pineapple tart for a or is it Empire Imperials you call them? What is it? Empire? Oh, Empire Biscuit. Empire is that alright? I've got four pineapple tarts. I'll swap you for a Empire Biscuit. You going to swap? No. No. <laughs> no going to swap. Yeah, but he will because he likes them or no. Ah, you can, don't want to eat four Imperial. You're getting your dad one. Empire Biscuit. I'll take one, your dad one. You can eat two and you can get a... You can get a... Pineapple tart as well. You like your yellow pineapple cakes, didn't you? You had them last time when we were in the caravan. A few weeks ago, I'm sure I got them, didn't I? They're big, then. I don't like both of them. Valuable. You know what, I'm your Uncle Ed? No. I'm your Uncle Ed. You yeah. have one of them and two. You have still have two Empire Biscuits left. Yeah. Hey. Right away, that was quick. Well, less than half of you can't miss them. <laughs> you good? Mm -hmm. You going to find somewhere to stick my mouth? Yeah. Kill it. Oh, wow, in the water. The right folks, lesson learned. This baking we put in the river to keep cool. Matt just went Matt went to get milk for the tea. See the hole? And something's been chewing. Something's been chewing at that set of baking, so we're not gonna we're just gonna discard that. We're not taking the risk in case it's a rat or something, or it's, the water's got to it so Something's been chewing that, so we'll not do that again. That side's okay, so we'll have. Just means we're only going to have a wee bit of bacon. I'm exploring. You know, in the roll. Unless we have one roll each. I'm alright. I'll have. I'll have. I'll only need one. I've got Aye, two. one roll. We'll have one roll each, and then we'll keep the three rolls for when we get back to Solcoats. And just, I'm just going to dump that bacon. I'm not going to. I'm not going to take the risk. We could cut the bit off, but the water must. The water must have been getting in it as well. No, it was sticking out of the water as well. Ah, we don't, no, I'm going to take the rest. The rock wasn't on it. See, we put the rock on Aye. it. The rock wasn't on it either. It must have been a bird. It would be a bird. No, I just don't know what it was. Uh, it'll be a bird. Let's set on. Right, sugar and milk. <sighs> Fucking, I don't know, you can go one of the cups of it's got a wee seal there, like that one. I found it and I didn't know what it was and I threw it away. I uh, need, don't need it, it just means that, that if I've got the lid on it, it can go through to the fucking inside. You want sugar? No, I don't take sugar. Ross, do you want some sugar? No. Where's oh, Ross? That's Where Ross, he's no, he didn't want any. Oh no, right. I, I don't even have sugar in my house. Maybe take sugar. Right, we'll see how much. I'll fill it up to the max. How much is that? How many mil is it? Is it six, 600. The thing is, it'll just boil over if I put you know, much more than that. Well, it'll just boil right over before it. You know, you know what I mean? Right, here, get the heater on. Look at this. Right, it's gone. I'm supposed to wait till it goes red. Oh, I'll be all right. Oh. There you go, there's your, there's your soul brother, Mark. Mark McFarland. Silver Fox. Special effects. Take your lid on, your new lid. I right, thank Mark for my, my lid. That blew away when I was out. I did Ben Moore with Pete. We did Ben Moore, Summit Camp, 
it was a tad windy and I lost my lid so Mark sent an email to MSR and he surprised me with a new lid I'd like to thank Billy because I meant to do it in the video the last couple of trips from my my wee power bank he gave me he gave me a power bank that's actually that's the one I used now it's nice and light about 10,000 milli what is it milliamps whatever it is milliamps so that's the one I'm using That's a big tub for tea bags. We <laughs> got a weird one. I've got my tea bags and my powder milk, my lighter, and my. Oh, there's other things in it. I just like it. My wee flora. Don't buy flora, I just don't know how I. I think my mum got it or somebody bought it and I just seen it and I says, I'll take that for my tea bags and stuff. That's it. No, not yet. Ah, I think that it's cooling down a wee bit. It's still nice, but you know it is 28, so some view, some backdrop I'm looking at. Uh, yeah, great. And that view as well. That's a nice 360 in it. It's a good view of 360, but it's better that way. <laughs> Doing the glen up the oh up the mountains. Right. No, yeah. Still not boiling. <laughs> it's nearly full, pretty. but because it's nearly full, it's taking longer. If you don't even move. It's, it's oh, struggling. It's boiling there. Right. Like I always, I can never remember what we ain't done it <laughs> to turn it off and on. I always end up turning it up and boiling it. There's Cuckoo, yeah, Mr. Cuckoo clock, that's been with us all day. Right, I'll get a three quarter fill it. Because we're not going to get a full shift, a full right. bit. Right. I'll do him, I'll do him. Right, you have a what's left. That's it, just, just about this three, I think. Ah, three that's, of these. that's enough for him anyway. Right. Right, Ross, your tea, mate. Hey, wait a wee minute here. Aye, ah, he's got to let it cool right enough. Wait a wee minute, right? Well, watch that knife, don't run about with the knife opened. That's it, shut it. Good. Wee minute. Is that my tea? Yeah, it's really a tea bag, isn't it? Pineapple tarts, Stuart. Pineapple tarts. <laughs> Morning, folks. 7.20 a.m. Been awake since about... quarter to six, half five. I my tent about half ten or something like that. It was nearly late. Uh, couldn't get sailed. Slippy. I don't know if it was the mat. I think I was, li I was lying the wrong way in the tent. What I mean is my, f my head was slightly uh, lower than my feet. I should have turned around. You know, you should Try and get your head, you know, uh, above your feet if you can't be level, which is probably likely that you're, you're unlikely to be level. Anyway, uh, cool today. <laughs> Too much to expect. Two, two nice days. As I say, but it's only 7.20, but uh, it's not going to be another, it doesn't look like it's going to be as good as yesterday. I think it was like 27 or 28 in London, but we had it about... I actually said 16 in Matt's car, but it felt a bit warmer than that, you know. So it was pleasant, whatever it was, the temperature was, it was a nice day. I'm just going to get start, start to pack. We're going to get the 12.30 ferry. 
So we've got a, uh, what have I got, five hours. So we'll try and leave here at half ten. That gives us about two hours to get to the ferry. I think it took us about an hour and fifteen. Something like that, an hour and twenty minutes. So we'll give, give ourselves two hours. I think it's going to rain actually. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Rain? Probably, possibly. Right folks, Ross went to get the bacon. We left that bacon that was uh, chewed last night. We left that away for the tents. We left that away for the tents and we were going to... Mm -hmm. We went to get it to put it in the rubbish and take it away. That's it. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. So that was seven slices of bacon. Something got. We're going to leave. We were planning to leave for half ten, but we're going to change our plan. We're going to leave earlier. Try and leave about nine-ish. And we'll get something to eat in Brodick. That's part of my mess. Oh, no mess, but that's my gear. I want to pack in the bag. I always like taking a wee ground sheet. Then we've got that. That was a couple of pounds just to lay my gear at. That's mist. Misty mountains. Right folks, as you can see we're leaving and the rain's on. I thought it would rain. Five to nine, so we're doing above ahead of schedule. We decided nine o'clock was the target. I'll get the river crossing, we're not, we're not taking our shoes off. Just gonna see if we have wet feet, wet socks and boots. These boots are, are not really hiking boots that I've got on. There you go, easy Ozzy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, they've done it. Right, I need to head back and get my gear on. And I'll do it. I had to rain. Always rains in my wild camps. Well, 90% of them. So I'll see you for the next one. <laughs>